Lesson One. Greetings. Dialogue One. Good morning. Good morning to you too. Do you think it will rain today? Yeah, maybe. It's hard to tell. I hope not. I am going to the beach this afternoon. Maybe you should check the weather forecast first. Good idea. I think I will. Well, I hope you have a good afternoon. You too, Frank. Dialogue two. Hello. Hello, Bill. How are you doing? Not bad. Work is going well. Oh, is it? That's good to hear. What about you? I'm doing okay, although my car is in the shop. Oh, really? That's too bad. Dialogue three. Hi, Ralph. Oh, hey, Mark. Did you have a good time hiking today? Yes, although it was a bit hot. That is why I stayed inside. What did you do? I read a book. Dialogue four. What's up, Andrew? Not much. Not much at all. Are you hungry? A little bit. Do you want to eat? Yes. Let's go find something to eat. That sounds good to me. Dialogue five. Good afternoon. Is Doctor Colbin? Yes, but he is busy. Do you mind waiting? I don't mind. Do you think he will be a while? He shouldn't be long. Oh, good. I'll wait. Just take a seat over there. He should see you shortly. Lesson two, introductions. Dialogue one. Hi, I'm Marvin. Marvin, my name is Robert. I'm here to play baseball. Good. We need more people to play. I'm not very good. That doesn't matter. We're just here for fun. Dialogue two. I'm Amy, and you are. My name is Elizabeth. You can call me Beth. Oh, that is my mother's name. Really? I'm named after my grandmother. Actually, Amy is not my real name. It's Amanda. Why do you go by Amy? I don't know. Ever since I was young, that is what people have called me. That's interesting. Dialogue three. Good morning. I'm looking for Dr. Kolb's office. I'm Dr. Kolb. How can I help you? I'm Dave Fowler. My stomach has been hurting. Is it an emergency? Oh no, it's not that bad. I just need to make an appointment. Please talk to my secretary over there. Thank you, doctor. I will. I'll see you soon. Dialogue four. Hello, I'm Hugh. What can I do for you? Yes, I'm Bill Paxton. I left my car here last week. Is it repaired? Yes, sir. It is, Mr. Paxton. Can you sign your name here? No problem. Okay. It's around back. I will bring it up front. Thanks. What's the damage? To the car? No, I mean, what is the cost? I'll have to check with the mechanic. I'll be right here. Dialogue five. Hi there. Are you Tina? Yes, I am. How did you know my name? I'm friends with your roommate, Bob. Oh, I didn't catch your name. Yeah, I'm sorry. My name is Tony. Pleased to meet you, Tony. Same here. Lesson three. Gratitude. Dialogue one. Eric, did you finish the report? Yes, it's right here, Mark. Thanks. No problem. Were there any difficulties for you? It was tough to get it done promptly, but it was not too bad. That's good to hear. Keep up the good work. Dialogue two. I thought you might like this book. Oh wow! Yeah, this is great. Don't mention it. No, this is great. This is just what I wanted. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. She is my favorite author. I'm glad you like it. Dialogue three. You do fine work here. Oh, I just try to do my part. No, you do better than that, and we appreciate it. Really, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. As a sign of our gratitude, you're the new manager.
Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Lewis. Dialogue 4 I couldn't have finished this race without you and Mark encouraging me. Let me know if you need any more help later. Oh, thanks. I really appreciate this. Thanks a million, Megan. What are friends for? Besides, Mark did most of the cheering. Yes, but I thank you anyway. I know you do the same for me, so don't mention it. And thank Mark for me as well. I'll give him your thanks. Dialogue 5 Can I help you? You seem lost. Yeah, actually I am. Where are you trying to go? I'm trying to find Clay Street. Do you know where it is? Yes, it's about two blocks up and then go left. You'll see it. Thanks a lot. Don't mention it. Good luck. Lesson 4. Apologies. Dialogue 1. I'm sorry I was late for class today. This is the third day this month you've been late. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Do you mind telling me why? Is there something wrong? There's a lot of traffic in the mornings. That's no excuse. You need to give yourself more time to get here. You're right, sir. I won't be late again. I hope not. See you tomorrow, bright and early. Dialogue 2 I thought you said you could finish this report by Tuesday. I apologize. What can I say? You almost cost me my job. You were a week late with this project. Look, I'm sorry. What more do you want? Do you even have an excuse? It took more research than I first thought. You could have told me earlier. I am really sorry. I really messed up. I'll try to make this up to you. Okay, I'll give you one more chance. Dialogue 3 Kim, where were you today? You missed class. I'm sorry. I was feeling ill. You didn't miss much. It was pretty boring. Yes, but I already missed class last week to go to the movies. Oh, you might miss too many classes this semester. I know. I really regret going to the movies last week. I bet you weren't so sorry then. Maybe not then, but I sure am now. Dialogue 4 I'm sorry about that last pass. Yeah, that was a pretty bad throw. I think I need a rest. Is something wrong? Are you hurt? I hurt my shoulder yesterday. Well, you shouldn't be playing ball. You're probably right. Hey, I'm sorry for criticizing you. I didn't know you were hurt. It doesn't matter. No problem. I'll be as good as new in no time. I hope so. Dialogue 5 Debbie, have you seen my blue shirt? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to pick up your shirt from the cleaners yesterday. Well, now I've got nothing to wear to work. I'm really sorry. I think you've still got the white shirt. I wore that Tuesday. It's pretty wrinkled. Well, I'll just iron it for you real quick. Thanks. It's the least I can do after forgetting your shirt earlier. Don't worry about that now, honey. At least I've got the white shirt. Lesson 5 Departure and Farewell Dialogue 1 I have to get going. My wife is waiting. Oh, come on. Have one more beer. Sorry. You know how she gets if I keep her waiting. Are you going out tonight? Yes. We are going to see her parents. You'll miss the game. Yeah, I know. Look, I've got to get out of here. Okay, buddy. See you later. See you. Dialogue 2 Mom, it looks like my flight is boarding. Yes, I guess it is. I should go now. I can't believe you're really going to college. Neither can I. I'll call you when I land. Yes, please do that. I want to know you're safe. Don't worry so much. I have to go. I love you. I love you too. Bye, dear. Bye, Mom. Dialogue 3 Did you lock the store up? Sure did. I swept the floor too. Good. This was a pretty busy day, wasn't it? Sure was. I'll be here bright and early tomorrow. Sounds good, Peter. See you then. Have a good night, boss. You too, Peter. Dialogue 4 It's been a fun year at school. It sure has. Where are you going for the summer? 
Probably back with my parents. What about you? I have a job with a lawyer in Boston. I'll just spend the summer in my dad's office. You should come visit me then when you have time. That would be nice. I think I will. Well, I'd better go. Give me a hug. Keep in touch. I will. Goodbye. Bye bye. Dialogue 5. That was a good movie. It really was. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you asked me. Do you want to do this again sometime? That would be nice. When? Maybe next Saturday. Is that good for you? I think so. Why don't you give me a call? All right. Well, I'd better go. I had a good time. Me too. Bye now. Bye bye. Lesson 6 Likes and Dislikes. Dialogue 1 I'm hungry, but I don't feel like cooking. Do you just want to order some food? Sounds good to me. What do you want? I don't know. Maybe Mexican food? I don't really like Mexican food. It is too spicy. How about Chinese? Sure. I like Chinese food. Let's call that Chinese restaurant. Great. I'll get the menu. Dialogue 2 Oh, look at that puppy. I didn't know you liked dogs. Are you kidding? I adore dogs. Did you have a dog when you were growing up? Always. We always had dogs in my family. My mom was allergic to dogs, so we never had any. That's too bad. I love dogs. Dialogue 3 Do you like football? I've got an extra ticket to the Ravens game. Of course. I love football. I know a guy who gets these tickets from his job. How does he do that? His boss knows a player on the team. Oh, wow. That's pretty nice. Dialogue 4 That's a nice pen. Thanks. It was a gift from my father. It looks like an antique. It's been in my family for a long time. An heirloom? I guess you could say that. I've always cherished it. Dialogue 5 What do you think of that new guy? Do you mean Tony? Yeah, that guy from Manchester. I don't like him. Why is that? He just says a lot of stupid things. I guess he is pretty obnoxious. Let's not invite him out with us tonight. If you say so, but I hope he doesn't find out. Maybe we can avoid him. Lesson 7 Hopes and Desires Dialogue 1 I hope we win the tournament this year. I hope so too. We've been practicing hard. Yes, we have. And there are only three games left in the season. That means three games left until the tournament. Who do you think we will play against? In the tournament? Yes. I don't know. Probably the Badgers. They are also doing well this year. Maybe, but they're not as good as us. Dialogue 2 What do you want for Christmas this year, Danny? A puppy. Why do you want a puppy? Because, Mommy, they are nice to play with. Well, I hope you know that it's a big responsibility. Yes, I do. You would have to help take care of it. I know, Mommy. I would help. Well, we'll see what happens. Dialogue 3 I wish it would stop raining. Why is that? So we could go out and play some ball. Yeah. I don't want to stay inside all day either. It doesn't look good, though. You're right. I don't think this rain will let up. Maybe we can rent a movie. Okay. If the rain doesn't stop soon, we should get a movie. Dialogue 4 I could really use some pickles right now. It's 3 in the morning. I'm not saying you have to get them. What are you saying? I'm just saying I crave them, that's all. I'm pregnant, you know? So, you mean the baby wants pickles, not you? Me, the baby, same thing. Yeah, I suppose it is. Dialogue 5 Anyone up for a drink? Sure, I could use a drink. Me too. I really want a beer. Where do you want to go? I was thinking about going to that new place. The one next to the post office? Yeah, I hear it's pretty cheap. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Sounds good. After you. Lesson 
Delights and Surprises. Dialogue 1 Happy birthday, honey. Oh, wow, Curtis, you got me a kitten. Well, you said you've wanted one, but couldn't make up your mind. So I guess you made it up for me, huh? Yeah, I guess so. So what do you think? Oh, it's wonderful. Is it a boy or a girl? A girl. Well, we have to come up with a name for her, don't we? Any ideas? We'll have to see. But thank you again so much. Well, you're welcome. Happy birthday again, Emily. Dialogue 2 Hey, Will, turn on the television. Why? I'm trying to rest. They're going to announce the winning lottery number. Do you still buy those stupid lottery tickets? Yes. Now turn on the TV for a second. Okay, okay. Wait, look, that's my number. I bought the ticket. What? Yeah, it's right here. I won, I won. Wow, I take back what I said. How much did you win? Well, $63. That's not much to win. Yeah, but it's something. Dialogue 3 How many more votes are there left to count? I think we're almost done. Are you allowed in the counting room? Why should I not be allowed? Because, silly, you're one of the candidates for class president, remember? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to win. No one will win if you don't let me finish counting. I'm sorry to bother you. Well, Kate, it looks like you're the new class president by four votes. Really? Wow, that vote was so close. Well, you're the winner, it looks like. This is such a surprise. I thought I was going to lose. Wow, I'm so happy. Dialogue 4 Can you believe what our teacher did today? What did she do? She gave a surprise test. So, what's wrong with that? Obviously, a surprise test is bad. Is it bad because you were not prepared? Exactly. Well, that sounds like more your fault than the teacher's fault. What kind of friend are you to say that? I'm just trying to be fair to your teacher. Anyway, it's not like you study every night yourself. True, but if my teacher gave surprise tests, I would study every night. Then, they wouldn't be surprise tests. Maybe you're right. Either way, I guess you should study more. I don't want to talk to you right now. Dialogue 5 I have the x-ray results back. Good. What do they show you? This is interesting. Don't keep me in suspense. Well, the pain in your leg is not from running. No? Well, then what is it? It's an older fracture that didn't quite heal. How is that possible? Have you injured that leg before? Yes, I fell skiing last March. You probably got a small fracture at that time. Running recently just made it worse. That's kind of a surprise. I never thought of that. It's common. Just rest for a few weeks and come back for another exam then. Lesson 9 Advice and Suggestions Dialogue 1 Tommy, you have been getting pretty good grades this year. Thank you, Mr. Reynolds. Have you thought about what you want to do for your future? I guess I'll go to college. Do you have any more specific plans about a career? Not really. What do you like to do? What are your interests? Well, I like animals. Good. I suggest you start thinking about careers with animals. Like what? Perhaps a veterinarian would be an interesting job for you. Maybe you're right. I'll think about it. Okay. Let me know if I can give you any advice in that direction. Dialogue 2 How was the game, son? It was rotten, Dad. We lost. That bad, huh? What happened? Everything you could imagine, and it was partly my fault. Why do you say that? I dropped an easy catch right at the beginning of the game. And that alone lost the game? No, but I made other dumb mistakes, too. Well, can I give you some advice? Sure. Forget about it. Forget about those mistakes. Why? I really messed up. Learn from them, but don't dwell on them. Everyone makes mistakes. Easier said than done. Maybe. But if you dwell on your mistakes, you'll not have the confidence to do better in the future. Dialogue 3 Oh, hi there, Margaret. Hi there, neighbor. I was wondering something. What were you wondering? 
I wanted to know how you get your lawn to look so good. What do you mean? I mean, you have no weeds and perfect color. How do you do it? Ah,、uh, a lot of time and effort is essential. I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. Why is that? Because you're happy. You've got a nice family and a good career. So why does that matter? My advice to you is to enjoy those things. My life is empty and gray. I have plenty of time to garden. That's too bad. Enjoy your lawn. I'm going to play with my kids. Bye. Dialogue four. Ernie, what are you doing in the closet? I'm trying to decide what fishing gear to take for our trip. What do you suggest? I suggest you come out of the closet. I meant, what fishing gear would you suggest we bring? Any pole will do, but I prefer a thicker one. And bring some colorful bait. Sounds good to me. I've got a pretty thick pole. I know, but this trip isn't really about fishing. It's not. Of course, it's not. It's about us spending more time together and enjoying each other's company. Well, that's true. By the way, you did a good job of planning. I like to be on top of things. Have you put everything in the car? Almost. Do you think you have room for my pole? It's long, but I think I can make it fit. Okay, let's go. Dialogue five. Joyce, can I talk to you for a moment? It's about your test grades. Oh yeah, they're pretty bad. Yes, I know. But you do well in class and on homework. Why are your test scores so bad? I don't know. Maybe I just had some bad luck. I don't think so. Look at this test. You didn't even answer these last six questions. You could at least guess at the answer. I just get so nervous that I can't think straight. Oh, I see. I don't know what to do. Try to relax. Exercise before taking the test to get out some nervous energy. Take deep breaths before you start. That's some good advice. Maybe I'll try it. Lesson ten. Wishes and congratulations. Dialogue one. Congratulations, honey. We're all very proud of you. Oh, mom, stop it. You're embarrassing me. It's my job. I'm a mother, and now you're a college graduate. It's hard to believe. Four years of college, and now I'm done. Yes, you seem to have grown up so fast. I owe a lot to you. You've been there for me all the way. Well, I guess my efforts have paid off now. I did put in a little of my own effort too, you know. Yes, I know. I'll say it again. Congratulations, Becky. Dialogue two. It's been quite an experience having you in class, Jason. I can say the same to you, Mr. Tucker, and I've enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit here. This has been one of my best classes in law school. I'm glad to hear it. I've heard you have a good job waiting for you. Yes, I've just been offered a job by a good law firm in Philadelphia. Well, congratulations. I'm sure you deserve it. I hope so, but I owe a lot to you. Nonsense. You got yourself that job. I'm sure you'll do fine. Dialogue three. Oh, hey there, Amy. I heard you just got a promotion. Yeah, I'm the new supervisor for sales. That's great. Congratulations. Well, it's going to be a lot more responsibility. And more money. Maybe a little more. I guess that means you're kind of my boss. Don't go thinking that. I'm still the same old Amy. I'm not even sure why I got the promotion. Oh, don't be so humble. You deserve the promotion, boss. Thanks, but don't call me boss. Anyway, I've got to get back to work. Dialogue four. I guess we've packed everything. I think that's the last box. Yes, I think so. Thanks for helping me move out. Don't mention it. And good luck in Denver. Oh, thanks. I'll need some luck. It's going to be a big change of pace. I'll say, from small town to big city. I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little jealous. You should come too. I'm sure you could get a job at one of the museums with your background. No, I like it out here. But I wish you the best. Stay in touch. Will do. Take it easy. Dialogue five. It's raining outside. It's supposed to let up by tomorrow. Don't be so nervous. How can I not be so nervous? I'm getting married tomorrow. So 
Lacey's family is taking care of all the planning. Yeah, so what? If anything goes wrong, it's not your fault. So relax. That's stupid, Paul. Anyway, that's not why I'm nervous. This is a big step. A huge step. No longer single, huh? Together forever and ever. Pretty scary, right? Seriously, it's the best thing you've ever done. I envy you, buddy. Really? You do? Yeah, a little. Look, you're going to be happy. I wish you two the best in life. I really do. Thanks, Paul. Thanks a lot. Lesson 11. Complaints. Dialogue 1. Thank you for calling Bell Atlantic Telephone Company. How may I help you? Yeah, I've got a real problem here. My last phone bill was for $1,493. Is this amount incorrect? You bet it's incorrect. It says here that I made nine calls to Shanghai. And you did not make those calls? I repair motorboats. Why would I call Japan? Shanghai is in China, sir, not Japan. Whatever. I don't care. I just want to get this mess straightened out. Wait just one moment and I'll transfer you to a manager. Okay, good. Dialogue 2 I hate this weather. I think it's kind of nice. I like the rain. I don't. It's depressing and it's wet. Of course it's wet. It's rain. Would you prefer dry rain? Very funny. Just enjoy it. At least we're not stuck in it outside. Well, I wanted to go out jogging today. Go ahead. It's just a little rain. It won't hurt you. Have you ever heard of the flu? I'll get sick. You're always complaining. There's a lot to complain about. I think that's pretty sad. I try to be happy when I can. Dialogue 3 Cole, have you finished your homework? Yes, Dad. Can I go out now? What do you mean? You're grounded for this week. Yeah, and it sucks. Keep using language like that, and you'll be grounded for two weeks. I hate not being able to go play basketball. Maybe you'll think about that next time you want to get into a fight at school. I told you the other kid started it. He called me names. You could have ignored him. We've already had this conversation. This isn't fair. Life's not fair. Is there anything else you want to say? No, I'm going back to my room. Dialogue 4 Here, have a beer. How was work? It sucked. The new boss is a real tyrant. Oh yeah? How come? Don't even get me started on that subject. Let's just say I have had it up to here with this guy. That bad, huh? You'd better believe it. He has me doing so many useless tasks. I feel bad for you. I'm not getting paid enough to take this abuse. Is anything going good? <laughs> not today. Not until I have another beer or two anyways. I hear that. Just hand me another one, buddy, and I'll be a little better. Dialogue 5 Who's at the door? Baltimore Police Department, sir. Can I come in? Oh, yes, officer, of course. Is something wrong? We received a complaint from some of your neighbors. I can't imagine why. Were you mowing your front lawn naked this morning, sir? Is it a crime to cut my grass? It is, if you're doing it naked. It's very hot out today. I'm going to have to place you under arrest. Can I put some clothes on first? Please do. Dialogue 6 Luke, come into my office. What can I do for you? Well, sir, I've got a real problem with one of my co-workers. If my employees are having problems, I want to know about it. Good. It's Elmer, sir. He interferes with my work. I don't like to hear that. What does he do? He keeps taking my paper clips. What? Did I hear you correctly? He goes to my desk when I'm not around and steals my paper clips, especially the red ones. Especially the red ones? Yes, sir. They're my favorite. I can't work without them. Luke, that is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Get out of my office. But, sir, I can't work like this. This isn't elementary school. Now go back to work. Yes, sir. But this isn't fair. Whatever. Just get out, Luke. Lesson 12. Invitations. Dialogue 1. 
Hey, Erica, what are you doing? I just got out of class, and I was on my way to the library. What are you doing tomorrow night? I don't know. I haven't made any plans yet. Why? There's a party at Matt's apartment. I don't even really know him very well. It doesn't matter. Even if it did, you can come since you're my friend. Okay, I think I will. Tomorrow night? Yeah, tomorrow night. Come by my dorm room about 8. Sounds good. I'll see you then. Dialogue 2 I'm tired of studying. Me too. Let's get out of here. By the way, Steve and I are going hiking this weekend. Do you want to come? When? Where are you going? Saturday. We're going up to Marion State Park. It's going to be cold. Don't be so sensitive. Do you want to go or not? Sure. Do I need to bring anything special? Just warm clothes and some good boots. No problem there. Good. I'll give you a call tomorrow with specific details. Thanks for the invitation. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Dialogue 3 Are you busy? Not really. I'm just looking over these account figures. Did you get this dinner invitation from the company? Yeah, I guess you did too. It looks like everyone in this office is going out to the new seafood restaurant. Are you going? I don't know. It's a Friday night. That's true. I don't know if I want to spend a Friday night with my co-workers. It'll look bad if we don't go. Maybe we should just go and only stay for a short while. Who knows how long that could be. Let's just tell the boss that we've already made plans. Are you sure you want to turn down a company invitation? Do you want to spend your Friday night with these people? Good point. Dialogue 4 I had a good time tonight. Me too. Dinner was better than I expected. Yeah, that was a nice restaurant. Do you want to go out again sometime? Yes, that would be nice. I'd like that. I would too. Look, it's not that late. Do you have to get up early? No, not really. Why? Well, I was going to invite you in for some coffee. Coffee? That sounds nice. Good. Come in. I'll make us a pot of coffee. Thank you. That would be nice. Dialogue 5 Hey, Oliver. I heard that you were a pretty good ping-pong player. I'm okay. Why do you ask? I wanted someone to play against. Someone who would be kind of a challenge. Then I think you've come to the right place. Glad to hear it. I'd like to invite you to a match. Are you free Saturday afternoon? I think so. What time? Uh, about 2 o'clock. And where? The school gym, of course. Okay. I accept your invitation. Good. I'll see you then. Lesson 13 Requests Dialogue 1 Bobby, have you finished cleaning up your room? No, Mom. Have you even started? It doesn't look like it. I'll clean it. I promise. Young man, this place is a mess. I know, I know. I make a simple request and look what I get. Okay, Mom. I'll clean it up. When? When my favorite television show is over. Wrong answer, Bobby. But, Mom... Get up there and clean. Now. Okay, I'm going. Dialogue 2 Janice, we've got to talk. It's a small request. What about? It's your roommate, Sharon. And? I keep asking her to turn down her music. I didn't know it was that loud. It's not until you leave. Then she turns it up. Really? I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, she does. And it's often when I'm trying to study. It comes right through my wall. I'll talk to her. Good. She has to turn it down. And she ignores me whenever I ask. Okay. I'll get her to stop. Thanks. I appreciate it. Dialogue 3 Hey, Adam. What? It's your dog. He keeps coming into my yard and tearing it up. How do you know? There are lots of dogs in this neighborhood. I've seen him just this morning. Prove it. Look, don't make this difficult. I'm just requesting that you keep him in your yard. I do. He gets under the fence sometimes. Well, that's not my problem. Are you saying it's my problem? Yes, it's your dog. What are you going to do about it? If I have to, I'll call the police. I've even got pictures of your dog coming over here. Okay, if you're so upset about it, I'll see what I can do. Dialogue 4 How's it going, Kathy? You look good today. 
What do you want, Ben? Why do you think I want something? Because you're being nice to me. That means you want something from me. Well, now that you mention it, I did need to borrow your computer. Why? I've got to finish my essay tonight, and my computer is broken. So you want to come over and break my computer? No, I just need it for an hour. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> Why should I say yes? Because you're a good person. No, I'm not. But you can use it for one hour. That's it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Don't make me regret it. One hour. That's it. One hour. I understand. I'll see you tonight. Dialogue five. Oh, this is bad. What? Look what I got in the mail. It says you are hereby requested to appear in traffic court on Tuesday, eight a.m. It's because I didn't pay that speeding ticket from last month. What? Why not? I don't know. I just forgot. Is it too late to pay? I can pay in court now, but it will cost more. Maybe you should drive slower. Very funny. Maybe you should shut up. Sorry. Don't be so sensitive. This is going to cost me two hundred dollars. Well, don't look at me. I'm broke. I guess I'm going to court on Tuesday. I guess so. Make sure you drive slow on the way there. Lesson fourteen: Plans and decisions. Dialogue one. What are you reading, honey? It's something sent by the University of Ohio, Dad. I thought you were thinking about going to Florida State University. I was, but this looks interesting. Why is that? It's hard to say. I think I just like the feel of Ohio better. Is that all? No other difference? Well, I think Ohio has a better biology department than Florida. Is that what you want to study? I think so, but I may change my mind after four years. Just make sure you decide on something you enjoy. That's the most important thing. That's also the most difficult thing. I'll keep thinking about it. Dialogue two. Today was just awful. Why? What happened? I was two hours late for work. That stupid car broke down again. Again? We just had it serviced last month. I think we need to give up and admit that the car has died. Yeah, I guess you're right. Do you think we can afford another? We may just have to share my car for a while. Yes, but that's awfully inconvenient. I agree, but what can we do? My friend's father owns a car dealership. Maybe he can help us. Maybe, but we can't afford too much right now. Dialogue three. Do you know what we need to do? What? We need to start a college fund for Tyler. But he's not yet four years old. He won't be in college for another fourteen years. Yes, but it's never too early to start saving. Do you really think so? I just read an article about how expensive college is already. It's only going to get more expensive. I have heard that some families start very early saving for college. I think we should as well. If you want, I'll call an accountant tomorrow. Okay, give him a call and see what he says. Dialogue four. Hey, Sean, do you know what you're doing after graduation? No idea. What about you? Actually, I've been considering a job in China. Really? Doing what? Teaching English. Are you going to take the job? I'll probably take it. It's a big change. I don't know anything about the place. I think I'll like it. How bad could it be? It's probably a good opportunity, and you won't have a better time later in life. That's probably true. I think it could be interesting. Anyway, it sounds better than my plans. Good luck. Dialogue five. I'm thinking about quitting my job. Well, this is a sudden decision. Actually, I've been sort of thinking about it for a little while. You could have told me earlier. I'm telling you now. Anyway, I haven't made up my mind yet. Why do you want to quit? I'm just not happy there. I don't think I have much of a future with my company. What do you think you want to do? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Well, you probably should think about it before you do anything too drastic. Lesson fifteen: Certainty and uncertainty. Dialogue one. Did you hear about Jerry? 
Yeah, he's supposed to be real sick. That's what I heard too. Do you know why he's sick? No, to be honest, I'm not certain. I thought it was just an ordinary flu. That's probably it. But it seems to be a little worse than that. Maybe. I think the doctor isn't sure. Did the doctor even have a guess? He said it could be an infection. Well, that's not very helpful. He could be more specific. I know, especially since we work with Jerry. Yeah, I'd hate to catch what he has. Me too. I wish we could know for sure. Dialogue two. Do you have any idea where we are right now? I couldn't say for sure. What would you guess? Well, we turned off of Houston Avenue about five minutes ago. That sounds right. Yes, I think that's true. Okay, and I think we headed south, but I'm not positive about that. No, we turned left about a minute ago, so we're no longer pointing south. You're right. We must be headed east again. And we've been driving about a minute east already. So we're somewhere near the harbor. I wish we knew for certain where the highway was. No way to tell. I think we should keep going east. If you're confident that this is east, okay, we'll go this way. Well, I can't be certain, but let's give this direction a try. At this point, what harm could it do? <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Dialogue three. Where are you going? I'm going to Mr. Hampton's office. What for? Well, if you must know, I'm turning in a late assignment. The only reason I ask is I'm not certain he's there right now. Why not? I thought I saw him leave school about thirty minutes ago. That's awful. What can I do now? Can you turn it in tomorrow? I don't think so. I'm not sure, but I'd rather not wait. Maybe you could just slip it under his door. That's a good idea. I hope that is acceptable to Mr. Hampton. I'm sure he'll accept it, even if it is late. Thanks for the idea. I'll go over there now. Okay. Good luck. Dialogue four. Did you see the newspaper today? They're starting the Smith murder trial. That's what I heard. Do you think he did it? I'm positive that he did it. How can you be so sure? He confessed to the police. He says that they forced him to confess. Oh come on! How would they force him to confess? I'm sure they have ways. Besides, his lawyer wasn't informed, so the confession doesn't count. Well, they also found his fingerprints at the scene. That makes sense. He says he found the body. I don't believe him. I'm not so sure. What motive did he have? How should I know? He's crazy. Oh, that's not fair. Do you think the police made a mistake? Could you do a better job? Maybe not, but the police make mistakes all the time. Well, I think he did it. I'm certain of it. With that kind of logic, it's a good thing you're not on the jury. I'm certain of that much. Dialogue five. Dear, did you call the plumber yet? No, I told you I'll take care of the sink myself. Oh, please don't try that again. What? Don't you have any confidence in my abilities? No, I don't. Call the plumber. Why do you say that? Remember the washing machine? You didn't do a very good job with that. Yes, but I learned. I'm certain I can fix the sink. Just give me a chance. Not this time. We can afford a plumber. Call him. Okay, fine. I'll call a plumber. Lesson sixteen: Agreement and disagreement. Dialogue one. I don't think our taxes get anything good for us. What do you mean? The state just gave another four million dollars to schools. I don't think that money does any good. I disagree completely. Do you think schools can be run for free? They can be run for much cheaper. The result would be that children would be less educated. Not true. They spend a lot of that money on useless programs. That money is going to buy more computers for the classrooms. So we didn't have computers in school. We can still read and write. That was twenty years ago. The world today depends on computers. They can learn about computers from their parents at home. What about poor children who don't have computers at home? So my tax dollars are going to poor children. What's wrong with that? I think you could be a little more generous. Maybe you're right. Dialogue two. I think we should go to Mexico for vacation. I disagree. I think we should go to Canada. 
Canada will still be cold this time of year. It will be cool, but not cold. It will be too cold for me. Mexico will be too hot for me. We can't go to both places. Why don't we go later in the year? What good will that do? Canada will be warmer in a few months, but not too warm for me. Yes, then we can both be happy. I think that's a good idea. I'm glad you agree. Dialogue 3 I'm hungry. Do you want to get something to eat? Yes, that would be nice. What kind of food do you want? I was thinking of having Mexican food. I don't like Mexican food at all. Why not? It's so good. It's too spicy and it's not healthy. I disagree. That's not true at all. What do you mean? Of course it's true. It's healthier than a lot of American food, such as hamburgers. It's still too spicy. Come and try some. I know this place where much of the food is not spicy. Okay, I'll give it a try. Good. I'm glad we see eye to eye. Dialogue 4 Do you want to come over and watch the ball game? No, I'd rather do some reading for class. I don't like baseball. I suppose that's because you're a girl. Don't be ridiculous. I like football and basketball. Then why do you not like baseball? Baseball is boring. It doesn't have much action. I disagree completely. Do you think a home run is boring? How often does that happen in a game? How often does a goal happen in soccer? It's the same thing. At least in soccer, everyone is moving. Baseball can be interesting once you learn about it. Maybe so, but I'd rather not take the time to learn. So, you agree it could be interesting? No, I just don't care. Let me know the next time you watch a basketball game. Okay, suit yourself. Dialogue 5 What took you so long? I've been waiting for an hour for our tennis match. I'm sorry. Traffic was awful. I got stuck. Did you go through downtown? Yes, they're building that new stadium. I know, and the construction is slowing down the traffic. The worst thing about it is we don't even need the stadium. I couldn't agree with you more. The mayor thinks it will be good for the city, but we don't even have a sports team. I guess he thinks it will attract a team. That's a pretty big risk to take. Yes, I agree. I don't understand it all. Well, I suppose I should stay out of the downtown area. Probably so. Anyway, let's go play tennis. Good idea. Let's go. Lesson 17. Belief and Disbelief. Dialogue 1. What are you doing today? What I always do, every year. By the way, do your kids still believe in Santa Claus? My son's only four years old, so I haven't told him the truth yet. How old were you when you stopped believing in Santa? I was ten. A kid at school told me Santa wasn't real. My dad told me when I was ten. That's a pretty big moment, when you stop believing in Santa. I didn't say I believed my dad when he told me Santa wasn't real. So, you still believe in Santa Claus? It's the only thing I don't believe in anymore. Dialogue 2 who do you think will win the election for senator? I think Tom Smith will win. I hope so. Why do you want Smith to win? He promised to lower taxes. And you believed him? Sure. Why not? He's just saying that in order to win the election. How do you know? He wants to have many new programs which require taxes. I'm sure he'll find a way to do that without more taxes. You're too naive. And you're too cynical. Dialogue 3 Hi, Mom. I'm going out to play. Have you finished your homework, young man? Yes. Can I go now? Let me see your work. How come you never believe me? You never give me reason to believe you. Now show me your work. Okay, okay. Let me get it. Here. See? Well, it looks like you've actually finished. Good. Now can I go out and play? Okay. You can go out. Thanks, Mom. Bye. Dialogue 4 Hey, guess what? What is it? I've got some really good news. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Tell me. I got promoted to manager at the office. Oh, that's too good to be true. I can't believe it. Believe it, honey. It's true. I guess this means you'll be getting paid more. Yes. I can hardly believe it myself. Maybe we can go to Mexico this year for vacation. Is that what you want to do? Maybe. We can talk about it. This is unbelievably good news. It's certainly true. I'm so happy for you.
Dialogue 5. Hey, Mary. Do you know when our reports are due? I believe they're due at the end of the month. What is your paper about? I'm writing on Greek mythology. That's interesting. Yes, it is. I'm learning many things. Didn't they believe in a lot of different gods? Yes, they did. They believed that certain gods caused things in nature. Some people still believe things like that today. Maybe, but most modern people know more about science. I don't know about that. I saw your last grade in science class. Very funny, Paul.